Welcome back to the top news channel BRF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. In this video we will have the following main content. 1. Meghan and Harry criticized for defying the law, deliberately wreaking havoc on federalism. 2. The Queen was heartbroken when Harry and Meghan made a shocking news about Buckingham Palace. Meghan and Harry criticized for defying the law, deliberately wreaking havoc on federalism. Assault on freedom and federalism by an American political analyst has been blasted as Meghan Markle's petition letter for family and medical leave. According to some experts, she's a putrid, greedy, vile multimillionaire living in a mansion with a dimwit husband who is currently trying to destroy his own blood family as she has tried to destroy her own family. On the other hand, Meghan will never be able to admit or accept her unpopularity. She will continue to grab the microphone from whoever's talking and push herself to the front of whatever bandwagon she thinks others find relevant at the moment. It's just one more sign of her narcissistic personality disorder. Harry will ride the downward spiral with her until his credibility and popularity is completely trashed and then find himself alone. Some other readers said, I don't mind her preaching about something she doesn't need personally, as long as she does it without the Duchess title, L. What I find reprehensible is that she's jumped on the bandwagon at the last minute to grab the headlines for her own aggrandizement. And has deflected any glory from those who have worked hard for years. In a recent statement, Mr. Elder said, well, it's arrogant whenever from someone who can easily afford to pay for her family and kid leave and asking taxpayers to pay for anyone else's family and medical leave. Taking care of her family's medical needs while she's out of work is a direct attack on the freedoms guaranteed by the federal government. I think she should study the Constitution, especially the Tenth Amendment, because every now and then some Congress person will hold up the Constitution and speak about things that are left to the state or the Tenth Amendment. I would encourage the Duchess. At the end of the day, maybe she should reconsider being engaged in something like this. The Queen was heartbroken when Harry and Meghan made a shocking news about Buckingham Palace. As Harry prepared to shake the castle to its foundations, the Queen was overcome with emotion. Next year, the Queen is scheduled to mark a monumental occasion, and Prince Harry is likely to be a major player in the royal family's festivities. Some royal fans think, read all about it, read all about it. Harry to air his dirty washing in public. Harry and his consort do not care about who they hurt. To be honest, we will never know what damage that pair of soiled goods did to HM Queen's health with that interview. Some other comments said, I never thought that this obnoxious coward to stoop any lower. He and the woman he married should be ostracized by all. How can this evil couple do this to his grandmother, father and the rest of the family that indulged him and the money spent on him and her? They are the epitome of evil, hate and greed. In a recent announcement, his announcement of the project in July said that it will be an accurate and fully genuine look back at the highs and lows of his life. Daniela Elsa, a royal analyst, thinks the book's content might shock the firm after a spokesman for the royal confirmed he would not be required to gain clearance from Buckingham Palace for the project. Some royal experts say he really is the lowest of the low if he goes ahead with this book in the jubilee year of the grandmother that he claims to love so much. Especially when she lost her husband this year and is not currently in good health. But then again, as with when Prince Philip was dying, Meghan has possibly convinced him that the Queen is faking it to try and hush them up. On the other hand, the royal family has nothing to worry about. We already knew Harry was not bright, and now we know he's not trustworthy either. He and his wife have irretrievably lost all credibility. Mrs. Elsa said in the New Zealand Herald, Prince Harry will issue his book, which is all but sure to shake up the palace and rumble the teeth of the rest of the HRHs. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's departure from the British monarchy and their subsequent transfer to the United States have not yet been documented in an upcoming book by Penguin Random House.